Hey guys, what's up? Aikman2 here with another Reflex Custom Track Review. Today I'm bringing you Crazy Trails made by Volframer. Another track by him, he's really pushing them out here. And um, as you can she see, she's in a lake. <laughs> so it's a very unique track. You can see you got a creeper off there in the distance. And he said that was made by Monster704 for him. So it's a pretty cool object there. But this track is very unique. So I wanted to get a review out for it. It's so awesome. Got some roughness, we got a small double into some rollers, into some gnarly whoops. They can really eat you alive if you don't get a good run. And then these awesome bowl turn things. Um, this track is not very realistic, but it's a lot of fun. And here's the finish line. Big old double. Into some more big old whoops. These are even bigger than the first set. Another big berm. Oh! got off the track a little bit there but you got a big double and then another big double here and then you get on these tables get off into the face of this launch into the corner and then this you kinda have to jump on an angle it's kinda hard to tell where you're going I'm still trying to remember everything of this track cause it's pretty crazy Hence the name Crazy Trail. So you jump up on top here. This is pretty cool. Jump down. There's another creeper. Oh, I didn't expect to die there. Go through some water. Big wall. Laying in the berm. Right back down. This is a pretty cool jump. You gotta land on an angle. Like completely 90 degrees to the way you started. So that's pretty cool. See another creeper over there. And this is another one of those angle jumps. You gotta kinda land on the side like that. If you can grab it right, it's really fast. You can see you got uh, I don't even know what that says, but that says got flow question mark and then Volfranger. So that's pretty cool. I assume he, I'm saying his name right because he has not told me otherwise. <laughs> so jump into the sand back onto the where the start stretch is. And this track is just amazing. It's there's just one thing, and that's the same issue that I had with this previous track, and that's the wideness of the track. These whoops are pretty wide, but the jumps and stuff are just not wide enough. They need to be a little bit wider. I mean, that just looks skinny from to the eye. And especially around some of the corners, you go and rail the berm like you normally do, and then it sets you up just to the outside of the. Um, oh gosh, a little bit of lag there. Sorry. Um, and it sets you up to the outside of the jump. Like right here, if you rail that berm, it'll set you up to the outside of this double. And these doubles are very difficult. And as you can see, it resets you along the side of the jump. And you can really skip the jumps and cut it that way, and that's not good. And this is just skinny. And uh, I hope he can fix, he'll fix this for future tracks. I know he probably already had this track finished by the time he saw my review on his previous one. So, oh, every single time I jumped the wrong way there. But um, other than the wideness of the track, this thing's amazing. A really cool idea. I like how it's enclosed. Um, that's not actual dirt that's around the outside. That's an uh, object, um, even though it looks like dirt. Believe me, I checked. I couldn't hit it. <laughs> it's an object, so it's pretty cool. I love this right here. You land on an angle. You can really get a lot of gas or a lot of speed going through there. Uh oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. We're gonna cut the track. Oh, <laughs> hoping we could land that. Ah, I still can't read the first one there, but this is pretty cool. How he drew stuff in the textures. It's pretty awesome. It's off camber itself is pretty cool as well. I still haven't hit that inside of it yet. Man, I'm getting some random lag uh, spikes. I don't know what that's about. You can really rail that. Got to scrub for that double though, so you can get as much speed as you can through these. At the end, they always eat me up right at the end. Oh gosh. This is an interesting berm. It's kind of really close to the inside. You really got to be on your game for those whoops. And he claimed it was a pretty hard track. And I have to admit, um, these doubles, just the face of them, way too steep. Um, I know he said it's difficult, but that's a little bit on the uh, extreme side. 
So this is the angle jump, I finally remembered. <laughs> Oh, that's one of the jumps that it kind of angles you away from it. And that double down can be a little difficult. And you really got to check your speed. As you can see, I just flew right up there. You jump up over a dozer, which is pretty darn cool. You kind of go inside the inside there. This is pretty cool. It's almost like a side of a oh, well, half of a half pipe. A uh, half of a half pipe. Yeah, I said that, right. Um, I'm not really sure what the point of these different lines are. They both basically make you do the same thing. Um, inside here, it's actually kind of dug down. I didn't realize that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this track is a lot of fun. I hopped on it, and right away I was like, okay, this thing is definitely worth a review and a lot of fun. And uh, it can definitely get challenging. Oh, that was a beautiful run through the whoops. This is going to be a pretty fast lap. If I don't wad over this. But that was a pretty decent lap. I'm not sure what uh, Merlin or Tog is going to put down on it, but that was a pretty decent lap, if I do say so myself. And uh, we got to go into first person here for our last lap. Probably the most difficult section through here is these doubles. Oh, I landed on the side of it, so it got me all miscombobulated. Oh, there's a plane up there. <laughs> this is almost kind of set up like an army base, it kind of reminds me of. With the planes in the air and the enclosed setting. It's kind of cool. Oh, it's on the angle. I almost forgot. But I really like how he has the track crossing. That's pretty cool. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. <laughs> kind of use that as a berm. Ouch. Berm is, the <laughs> wall is so big. We are not making that. Oh, yes we are. How about that? I thought I was going to come up short on that, because the angle that I took it on. Oh, that nasty whip. Oh my gosh. I landed it too. <laughs> Oh, that look behind whip! Oh, got reset though. <laughs> oh, missed the inside, but still mm, kind of jumped all over the place there. <laughs> but that creeper is pretty cool. <laughs> if any of you have been around for a long time, you know that I used to play Minecraft on my channel here, so I think that's pretty cool. Really through the whoops, and then get... That was actually a decent run through. These berms right here are really cool. I like those. Oh, okay, sad a bit. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like if you did enjoy it. Make sure to go give some love to Mr. Volframer. And I will talk to you guys next time.